Okay, now let's launch the second. When attempt. students or colleagues watch one of electrical engineering and computer science professor Kevin Dew's cybersecurity videos, they often want to know more about the people on his crew. They all actually look at my video. They say, that, "Do you have a team?" They're surprised to hear that Dew can do all of this in his lab slash studio as a one-man band: presenter, director, producer, cinematographer, and editor. I. Do the online presentation a lot due because of pandemic, and uh, some of conference they invited me to talk. So I said, I I have to have a look look nice. I used to have a one at home in my basement. Yeah, but that part has a problem because of my family they just walk around. <laughs> but then I decide, okay, so I'm just gonna build one in the corner of lab. He built a full DIY studio with a lighting grid. A professional background and a screen that lets him see a live view of the graphics going in behind him, and like all studios, it even has a small dressing room. Because I had no actual experience in this kind of production, but as an engineer, I, I like to do things. And you learn from YouTube the lighting, which which is an engineering issue, right? So what is the best way to light up your your studio? And it turns out this three-point lighting—that's <laughs> something I learned. Du has been using the studio to record classes and presentations on the open-source internet emulator he has been working on for the past three years. The emulator was developed for educational purposes and allows people to safely work on mock cybersecurity attacks and defenses in a contained environment. He sees videos like these as the natural evolution of presenting. Academic research. I mean, as a researcher, I mean,、uh, we we got used to just publish paper as a way and to disseminate your work. But there actually are many other way and like the recording your video. If you finish a a project, right, and you publish your paper, and it is better if you can just also record a very good video, including a demo, including maybe five minutes of presentation, and put on YouTube. So that go along with your paper. I think that will actually reach more people. People are used to this kind of learning. They they learn.、Uh, they watch a lot of YouTube. So they learn from a video from this new form of the, especially young people. It's an additional actual channel, and to present your work. Do plans to keep his setup. It may not be Warner Brothers or Paramount Studios. But he wants to keep making improvements to it. In the future, for everything I publish, I want to make a video, and to uh, uh, go along with the paper publications and the demonstration. What you do is really important.